Hi guys, I'm John Bergman and I am uh, just, I'm jet lagged is what I am. Uh, <laughs> all night, uh, uh, Sunday night to get here. So from the States. So you can ask me about flip learning, the uh, lost global standards of the Academy of Active Learning Arts and Sciences, which established the global standards for flip learning. I play the harmonica and I do Ironman triathlons. So uh, the th top topic I want to talk about briefly is uh, a paper that was written in 1984 by Benjamin Blum. He wrote a paper called The Two Sigma Problem. And the issue that he was addressing, he was challenging the world to solve a problem. And the problem that he wanted to solve was what he called the Two Sigma Problem. So in his research, Benjamin Blum realized that if you institute mastery learning, you will get a one sigma, so one standard deviation improvement in, in, in student achievement. But if you want to get a two sigma, or two standard deviation improvement, then it's one-to-one -one tutoring. So his challenge was, his double sigma challenge was this. He says, if we could find a method that the average teacher could learn and use that, was, that had the equivalent effect of, of two sigmas of one-to-one -one tutoring, then that would be an educational uh, uh, innovation, I think, he said of the highest order or something like exact, his exact words. It's something like that. I'll share this a bit in my keynote tomorrow. But it, it's really captivated me because I believe we've solved the problem. Uh, and that is when we marry flipped learning with mastery learning. Because what you see in a flipped mastery classroom is that you see, um, you get the one-on-one -on -one tutoring that's happening and yet you're still doing mastery learning. So the idea of mastery, if you're not familiar with it, the idea of mastery learning is that when the students get to the end of a topic, chapter or whatever, they take a test. They pass the test, they move on. If they don't, they don't. But when Benjamin Bloom was trying to do this in the 1970s and 1980s, there were some logistical issues. How, when you have direct instruction, you have, when do you do it? When you, I mean, but fast forward to when Aaron Sams and I started to play around with this idea in the 2007, 8, 9, somewhere in there with particularly mastery learning, we realized that the, the videos, the, the flip videos, created the opportunity for mastery learning. And then the other issue was tests and how do you how do you manage a test because you can't just keep giving the same test over and over again and it's a logistical nightmare and so we figured out a software way to solve this problem and so I really believe that the flip mastery model is addressing what Benjamin Bloom challenged the world to find is something that would solve the two sigma problem and I think it's flip mastery and I'm implementing it some of you know this but so, so I've spent the last seven years traveling all over the world talking about flip learning but uh, Ten weeks ago, I started teaching again. So <laughs> I'm, I've moved my family to uh, Texas, where now I'm teaching at a school and doing flip mastery and solving the two sigma problem. So ask me about it.